morning. I have had um, lots of questions coming in about students not being able to join multiple classes on Seesaw, but this is definitely an option that is available to our students. I think the issue is coming through how we're having them join. So I wanted to do a quick walkthrough because our students are definitely going to be joining um, other classes and we want to make sure that they can access everything. So um, what I have here is I have two windows open. One of my windows is my teacher side. So that's this one right here. And then the other one is me. Gonna, I'm going to be pretending to be a student. I'm using my personal account to show you how to have students join multiple classes. So the first thing I need to do is find the code from the class I want the students to join. If you sent out a code that is longer than six digits, you probably sent them their individual code. And if the student is typing this in right away when they log in, it's going to kick them from their previous class. We don't want that to happen. So on your screen, where, what you want to look for is this add students button. You might see this add students button somewhere um, over up here on your screen. You might have to click the wrench and then go to add students. But on my home screen, I see the add students button. And when I pull that up, I want them to sign in with their Google account. And then I see this code right here. This says it expires April 1st. You should see something around that time. If all you did was edit your um, the demo class that you had originally, it normally started off with like second grade. It might say it's only there for one hour. So you might wanna look into um, getting a different code, but I'm gonna copy this code because I'm gonna join this class as a student. And then now I'm going to go over to my student page. And I know it looks very similar, but I'm going to use a different sign-in so you can see. So let's pretend I emailed that code out to my parents. Hey, parents, go ahead and join my class with this code. If your student already has an account, they're going to go to login. And on the app, um, I, I'll walk you through that as well. So here I am. I already have my student account. I'm already signed in. Pretend I signed in with Google. And then right here, I'm going to join a class. This is where I'm going to enter that new code. And you can see that I now have multiple classes. And as a parent, I'm prompted to go to a multiple class demo to show me how to toggle between those classes. So here you see I have three separate classes. OK, I'm going to go ahead and sign out so I can walk you through what this looks like again. As a student, when I first come to the website or when I when I log into the app, I would already be logged in. But I would click I'm a student. I would sign in with Google. I'm going to sign in with my personal, which is my pretend student. And here I am. I'm going to click on my tile. And then from here, this is where I would click join a class and type in the new class code. You can see I already have multiple classes here. So if you have students that are needing to be in a special education class, a, um, a speech therapy class, maybe you are departmentalized and you have one class for ELR slash social studies, one for math slash science or however it's split up, this is the way you can do that. You can still add teachers to the class, but in this way, students will be able to toggle between the different classes. It's very similar on the app. On the student app, when they open it up, they're going to click on that icon. It looks exactly like this. I see that CC, they might see a different color, they might see their initials, they might have chosen an animal, but they're gonna click on that, and then the join class comes up. I see it says join class right above all the other classes I've already joined. And then that's where I will type in that code. So this is how you want to instruct your parents who already have an, a Seesaw account for their student to join multiple classes. And then in this way, if I want to go see what Miss Murray posted, I would go to her class. I would see my activities. I would still see my inbox. Um, same thing on the app. When I go to a different class, I'm able to click on the activities inbox, so on and so forth. So that's just a really quick walkthrough of how to have your students join multiple classes in Seesaw.